Hi there. Now for this question, we had to solve this equation then in the range given here, in radians. So you'll notice then there were four answers to this. We've got two of them here, 1.28 and 5.0 radians. And the answers here, 1.91 and 4.37 radians. And all of these are given as requested to three significant figures. So I'll take you through this just in case there were any problems. With an equation like this, we need to get it into the same trigonometric function and we go for cosine theta. So pick up on sine squared theta. We should be familiar with the identity that sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is one. So sine squared theta is the same as 1 minus cos squared theta. And then I've expanded this bracket to give me this, and then I've rearranged it so that we create this quadratic equation in terms of cos theta. Then in the usual way, you solve this by factorizing and putting each factor equal to zero and arriving at these two answers for cos theta, 2 sevenths or minus a third. If you didn't want to factorize it, remember you can always use the quadratic formula and it would give you these two answers. So looking at cosine theta equals two sevenths, you'll notice I've drawn a quadrant diagram here. I'm assuming you're familiar with using quadrant diagrams. I prefer this rather than using a graphical approach. Do check out my videos on the quadrant diagram just in case uh, you're unsure then of this. So what we have is that cosine is positive, positive 2 sevenths, so you mark in where cosine is positive which is in the first quadrant and the fourth quadrant. Mark two lines equally inclined then to this horizontal line here. And the answers that we want in this range, 0 to 2 pi, are Theta here, we turn to the first blue line in an anti-clockwise direction and then starting from the initial line here, turn again to the next blue line that gives us another solution in that range. So when you use your calculator, do the inverse cosine of 2 sevenths, make sure you're in radians mode, you should find you get 1.281 and so on. And that corresponds to this blue angle in here which is the same as the red one. So that's one answer. To get the green one here, we know that these two angles are exactly the same. They're 1.281 radians. So therefore, to get the green one, all I do is 2 pi radians for a full turn minus 1.281 radians. And that gives me 5.002 and so on radians. And then just round up your answers. When it comes to cosine theta is negative a third, remember cosine is negative in the second and third quadrant. So again, marking two lines that are equally inclined to this initial line, turn in an anti-clockwise sense to each blue line, okay? And that gives us the red answer for theta and the green answer for theta. When you take the inverse cosine of minus a third, you end up with 1.910 showing on your calculator. That corresponds then to this angle. To get the green one, all I've done is relied on the symmetry of this diagram. This angle round here will be also 1.910 radians. So I can get the green one just by doing 2 pi radians for a complete turn minus the 1.910 radians and that gives me 4.372 radians. And again, just round up your answers.